I'm Emily. I am living with my husband, Henley, and my five-year-old daughter, Mila. How do you feel? Gotten a little better? I was sleeping all day, so I feel better now, but I haven't fully recovered. I don't think I can cook dinner tonight. Okay, got it. I'll eat out tonight. Don't worry about me because I'll be coming home late. Wait a minute. What about Mila's dinner? I'm hungry too. I can't go shopping either. What? Really? You can't even cook for Mila? Are you serious? I've already made plans with my colleague. I thought you'd be sick and wouldn't be able to cook. But I forgot about Mila. Sorry about that. How about making something easy like hamburgers? Hamburgers for Mila? I can't even go shopping. You are right. I guess it's difficult. I want to have some soup that will warm myself up. Do I really have to come home? Oh well, I'll call off dinner plans with my colleague. Sorry about that. Don't worry about it. When you think about it, yesterday's barbecue is what made you get a fever. Even though it was under the bridge, it was raining yesterday and it was cold. The other colleagues that came yesterday said so too, although it was fun. But they said they want to do it again because they had a blast. Again? Yeah. Today, they were saying how they loved my smoked sausages that I made. Everyone who attended yesterday was saying how they want to get together again. I can't wait for the next barbecue. I may have to double the amount of ingredients. We didn't have enough yesterday, you know. When is the next time? Next Sunday, everyone that I invited said that they will save the date. I heard the weather is going to be good this time. I won't be able to go. Why not? I've already made plans with my friend. I thought you were available that day. Didn't you say you cancelled it? That Sunday was yesterday. You told me you were going to have a barbecue with your colleagues. You told me to cancel my plan. That's why I rescheduled to next Sunday. I thought it was cancelled altogether. I can't cancel anymore. I haven't seen my friend for four years. I think the last time I saw her was when Mila was a year old. No way, everyone's expecting me to have it. I can't cancel out on them now. Then you guys should do it yourselves. I don't need to be there, do I? Oh, no way. I won't be able to do it without your help. Oh, come on, Emery. Can't you do something? Please help me out. Help you with what? Who am I supposed to help anyway? I wasn't helping yesterday. Didn't I do everything myself? I did the preparation all the way to the end of cleaning up everything. None of your colleagues helped me out. They just acted as if they were all guests. I don't ever want to do a barbecue again. Huh? You are kidding, right? There is no way that you did everything by yourself with all those people. Then what did you do? What about your smoked sausages that you are bragging about? Who set that up? Who cut the ingredients? All you did was write up the chips. Really? I can't remember. I cut all the vegetables and meat. I dipped them all in sauce too. I then blow over everything that I had prepared. Who cooked it? Who served it to everyone? I did. While I was doing that, I was taking care of Mila because she was wandering around near me. I didn't want her to get hurt. After we finished, I had to say goodbye to everyone and see them out. While you were snoring in the car after enjoying yourself, I had to clean up all by myself. When we got home, it was already night time, wasn't it? I caught a cold because I had to do everything after getting wet from the pouring rain. I've had enough. No one came to ask me if I needed any help. They all expected me to do it. Everyone was enjoying themselves, eating and drinking and getting drunk. No one helped me out. You say more people are going to come next Sunday? Give me a break. I'm definitely going to put my plans first with my friend. I didn't notice at all that you were doing everything. It was that tough on you, huh? But you, we all chipped in with the ingredients for the barbecue. And you did eat some food, right? 
didn't you like the meat? It was pretty expensive, you know. I didn't have a bite. What? I was preparing for the food and alcohol and then serving them to everyone after they were cooked. When I realized it, there was nothing left for me to eat. We came by the car and you were drinking. That automatically made me have to drive. I was practically the maid. Oh, come on. There was so much food there. Didn't you have at least some of it? No, I couldn't. First of all, didn't you say that we didn't have enough ingredients for yesterday? I even felt bad fearing Mila, but no one even realized that. Even when making a toast, everyone was ignoring the fact that I was cooking the meat. I felt so alone. You didn't even notice me fearing alone, did you? You were enjoying yourself drinking and stuffing yourself with delicious food. Everyone was grateful to you for the invitation, but I'm the one who did all the work, and not one person thanked me. That's not true. Everyone appreciates you. They all told me to tell you that they had fun. Instead of those words, I wanted them to help me clean up. It was so much work cleaning up, having to carry that heavy rod of stuff in the rain. Is that so? I can't believe you either, Henley. When the rain started falling hard, you acted hot in front of everyone and said, You guys can go home because we will take care of the rest. But you ended up leaving me to do all the cleaning up. Did I say that? Yeah, you did. With a satisfying look. They should have felt a little bad about it, but they took your word for it and said see ya and left right away. You are the one who said that we would take care of the rest, but you ended up sleeping in the car. Tears came down my face when I was cleaning up all by myself. I was so hungry and felt miserable. I was thinking to myself, what am I doing? Okay, then we will have to do it without you, huh? I wonder if the ladies at work will help out. Hey, if you are going to do it, why not become determined in taking care of everything, huh? Why do you rely on the ladies? Because women are better at cooking, don't you think? You are the only person who thinks that way. With other families, men usually host barbecues. Why can't everyone cook it together? Why can't you say, let's all cook since Emery's not here today? If you want to have a barbecue, do everything yourself, from the preparation to cleaning up. I can't do that. If you can't, then don't have one. If you want me to do the dirty work and you have all the fun, it's better off that you don't have one at all. If you want to have fun, you should make effort and do the difficult tasks too. Don't rely on people. If I could, I would. Anyway, I'm not good at those kinds of things. Then don't have one. No, I will. I've already invited everyone. They are all looking forward to the barbecue. I'm sure Mila would want to come too. Wait a minute, do you intend on bringing Mila? Of course, the woman colleagues would love it if I bring her along. I'm known at the office as a good father who takes care of his daughter. Oh please, don't use Mila to get attention. Besides, do you remember what happened yesterday? Weren't you too drunk to remember? Do you think you can look after Mila too? That's why I'm thinking of having the woman look after her. See, you are trying to rely on people again. Do you really think they would look after someone else's kid until the end? They will soon focus on eating and drinking for sure. Do you think so? I don't think that will happen. Mila is cute. Parents are the only people who think that way. Alright then, let me ask you, would you be able to look after someone's child until the very end? No. More like, you can't even take care of Mila. If you can't take the responsibility to take care of Mila until the end, don't bring her along. If you really want to, then don't drink and take care of Mila by feeding her until the very end. I'm sure she will be able to eat on her own. She is already 5 years old. That's impossible with only adults around. There is a river nearby and you are going to use fire for the barbecue. What's going to happen if she burns herself? 
you have to keep your eyes on Miller the whole time. Can you do that? I can't, but I'm sure someone would be able to. Besides, more people are going to come. I won't be able to the whole time, but we will switch in between. I'm sure someone would be able to look after her. I can't have you take her around with you being that irresponsible. Then what are you going to do with her? You are planning on going out too with your friend, aren't you? Of course, I will take her along with me. Don't worry, my friend also has a four-year-old son. We will go to a place where kids are acceptable. Do whatever. You just want to see your friend so that you can relax. You don't even help out when I say that I'm going to see my colleagues. You say that, but you are doing the same thing. This barbecue is for colleagues to get a better understanding of one another. This is not only to have fun, this is an important event. It's your workplace, right? The more you should do something on your own, don't you think? I did my best yesterday. The reason why you were able to enjoy yourself is because I worked really hard all by myself. I even got a fever. I did all that and you don't even thank me. And you are saying that you want to do it again. I'm grateful everyone enjoyed themselves because of you. That's why I want to have another fun barbecue next Sunday. I'm sure it would be fun. You don't need to do anything. Everything will already be done for you. From buying the ingredients and preparing for it, the meat and vegetables will be all cooked without you doing anything. All you have to do is drink and have fun. You must be satisfied because you just act hot by telling everyone that they don't need to clean up. It's not cool to invite people and have them clean up at the end. Is that right? Then next Sunday, you should take care of everything without having your colleagues help you. How does that sound? Why don't you give it a try, like I did, with no one helping? Do you seriously plan on not coming? That's what I have been telling you all this time, haven't I? Do whatever. Just watch. I'm going to become a great host, even without you. The next Sunday, Henley forced himself and had the barbecue as planned. While I was enjoying my time with my friend and her son, messages wouldn't stop coming. How much ingredients should I buy? Which one is the sauce from last time? Where did you buy the paper, plates, and cups? Can you come from now, please? What about if you bring your friend along? Hey, I was wrong. Please help me. This should teach him a good lesson on how hard it was for me. He tries to act hot in front of his colleagues no matter how much of a tight spot he is in. He is such a pathetic guy because he can't ask for help. I'm sure he got sick of having barbecues after this experience and wouldn't have any more after this one. I ignored them all, no matter how many times I had received messages. I planned to sleep over my parents' place because there is no way that I want to hear his complaints tonight.